Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman with Batman and Robin, Story 5, for 
This gets stranger and stranger, Ken. Yes, and I like it less and less. Take my word for it. It's just as thick door jokes as we say it. I don't think so. Well, here's the tunnel. Hmm. Black as the ace of spades. I'll say. Where's the skeleton? You'll see them in a moment. Each one choking up out of the walls like a jack in the box. I hope you don't scare each. Well, I'll try not to scream. Hey, what's that? Oh, the skeleton. Take a good look before it's gone. You think that could kidnap anybody? No, that skeleton couldn't. It's made of cheap wood and paper. There's another one. Yeah, that's wood and paper, too. They all are. It's like I told you. Your young prince was having a joke with you, like they tied with me. He may be right, Kent, after all. Oh, wait a minute. That's funny. What? Well, that wire shot out of the wall there with no skeleton attached. Oh, so what? It might have fallen off. Yes, it could be, but... Uh-oh. Sit down, Mr. Kent. You'll tip us off. What is it, Kent? I just saw something. Wait a minute. I can reach that wire. What did you see? What are you stopping the boat for? I'll show you in a moment. There we are. Now, look. Look at what? I can't see my hand before my face. Huh? Oh, yes, I forgot. You have a flashlight, don't you, officer? Uh, that I have. Here we are. Good. Just shine it on the wall right alongside you, please. Sure. How's that? A little more to the right. Oh, that's fine. Hold it. Now, see that man? You bet an opening in the wall. Be quiet. Keep your voice down. Wait, wait. Sure, and it is. Like a little doorway. So why did you close that too straight? How did you ever notice it in the dark? Uh, well, I, I've got pretty sharp eyes, and anyway, I, I was watching for something like this. Here, say, let's have a look. Come on. Right behind you. I do, Mr. Kent. Uh, not that I think this is important, Mike. No, you don't. Eh? Well, I think it is. There we are. Okay. Now, officer, lead the way with your flashlight. But be careful. Anything may happen. And uh, you, you lead the way with my flashlight. No, no, no. Go ahead, officer. We're right behind you. Anxiously, Clark Kent and Batman step into a low, dark passageway behind Officer Riley, whose flashlight stabs a thin ray through the musty gloom. What will they discover? We'll return in a moment to find out. But first, say, uh, did you ever see a dog with wings? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding, honest. I can tell you right now where you can see a picture of a dog with wings. Sure, it's the lucky insignia of Navy Squadron 14. And that insignia is one of the buttons in the second series put out by Kellogg's Pet. A mighty dramatic-looking insignia it is, too. The dog has a sort of determined expression on his face. Looks like he means business as he leaps at the enemy. There's a brilliant red background, too, to make the button even more colorful and smart-looking. And that's only one of the 22 different buttons in this grand second series. Actually, there are insignia of eight Army Air Squadrons, seven Navy Air Squadrons, Three marine air squadrons plus four warplanes. Why, you'll want to collect every single one of them. And that's easy to do, too, because you don't have to send in any money, not even a box stop. Truth is, you can't buy these buttons anywhere. You just tell your mother you're going to eat lots of that super delicious whole wheat flake cereal, Kellogg's Pet. Then she can stock up on it. Every package she opens means a new exciting prize for you, a bright colored insignia or warplane button. Yes, sir, you'll find a button in every package, and that's the only way you can get them. So, gang, don't forget to ask Mom to get you plenty of P-E-P, Pet, made by Kellogg's of Battle Creek. And now, back to the adventures of Superman. Discovering a small, narrow opening in the tunnel wall on the River of Horrors, Clark Kent left the boat with Batman and Officer Riley and entered a low, pitch-black passageway. Stooping, Kent and Batman proceed in single file behind Riley, whose flashlight sends a cloudy ray through the dank, cobwebby darkness. I wonder where this passageway leads to, Kent. I imagine we're under the amusement park now, Batman. How do you know? Well, I can see. You can see? Oh, well, I mean, I can, uh, well, I can hear the music in the crowds above us. I can't. Watch your head. You see the ship lower? Okay. Right. Strange place for a passageway, Kent, don't you think? I don't like this whole setup. Neither do I. This lane disappearing from the boat, then Dick and Jim missing. I'm afraid they've gotten into trouble because they saw what happened to Miss Lane. What? What's the matter, officer? Oh, something's rushed by my leg. I can't see anything. No, it's probably just a rat. Keep going. As soon as I find my rabbit flies, I can drop it and whistle. Yeah, that must be 
be around here someplace. I've got it. Good, good. Yes. Look, it is great. I, I, I don't like this place. I don't like it one bit. All right, come on. Let's go. Okay. But I don't like it. Hey, I can hear the sounds of the amusement park now, Kent. Yes. Yes, we're getting to the end of the passageway. Hey, that's strange. What? What the passageway? You're right. We're coming to the end of it. Well, here we are. Outside again. Change your life. You know where we are. Where? Right behind the Hall of Mirrors. What? The Hall of what? The Hall of Mirrors. It used to be the crazy house. Oh. Now, how come that passageway ends up here? I don't know. I haven't found Dick or Jim or Miss Lane. It looks like we're too late. I'm afraid so. The sense that Lois has carried through this passageway. Well, Lordy. Now, if you listen to me. Come on. We better search the park. There's nothing else we can do. Dick, you know, I've been figuring it out. That passageway must have been left there when they moved the miniature train from here to the other side of the park. That's all. But that was a couple of years ago, when Joe Henson put in the River of Horrors. Joe Henson. I'd like to speak to this Joe Henson. So would I. Well, he ought to be back at the entrance near the ticket booth. We can cut across in front of the Hall of Mirrors. Wait. Hey, look, Henson. What? Coming out of the Hall of Mirrors. See that heavy set old man? Yes. He's got... He's got white hair and dark glasses. Mr. Hemingway, the police press agent Dick and Jim told the cop about. Come on. their first real clue, Batman and Superman and his guys of Clark Kent race to the entrance of the Hall of Mirrors into which the man with white hair and dark glasses has just disappeared. Is it Dr. Bly? And will Superman and Batman find Lois Lane in time? And Jimmy Olsen and Robin? Don't miss tomorrow's exciting episode, fellows and girls. Tune in same time, same station for The Adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. of Superman, brought to you every day, Monday through Friday, same time, same station, by the makers of that super delicious cereal, Kellogg's Pep. And for other thrilling adventures of Superman, see your local newspaper. Superman is also a copyrighted feature, appearing in the Superman DC publications. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. So that was Superman where Batman and Robin from 1945, story five, for 19... So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.